There are plenty of acronyms used in the automotive world, some attached to some pretty special cars. GTR, AMG, GTS, RS, MR. Aston Martin has one that may not be quite as well known, but no less special, DBS. Most people don't know the DBS moniker has been around for over half a century, first appearing on an Aston Martin in 1967, um, probably better known for the latest version, the DB9 uh, based DBS car, uh, which was of course James Bond's vehicle in uh, Casino Royale. Since 2001, the Vanquish has sat atop the Aston Martin hierarchy. Not so much for 2019. Aston's been on a roll lately, releasing the new Vantage and the new DB11, and the new vehicle to replace the aging Vanquish. The all new 2019 Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. As you approach the DBS, you're just overwhelmed by the sheer presence of the thing, from the massive front intakes to the enormous rear haunches. Um, I want to start by going through a bit of the arrow on the DBS, because it's, it's fairly unique, especially when comparing it to the DB11. Uh, it starts with the front splitter, which is not overly unique. It diverts air through uh, the intakes and underneath. Um, from there, it travels through these intakes around the outside of the tire and then back through these vents in the fender. Um, from there, the air is channeled through these wing mirrors, which again, isn't overly unique. Um, but beyond that is where it gets interesting. So it air travels through these vents and behind the rear window and then travels into the bodywork, where it is then fed through these vents behind this arrow blade that Aston calls it, um, and then out through the back. Uh, the air that's traveling underneath the vehicle is diverted through these uh, double diffuser out the back. At top speed, that additional arrow is good for over 400 pounds of downforce. I'm gonna geek out a little bit, because you say 400 pounds of downforce, and I guess that's impressive. Let's give it some context. Compare that to the DB11, which actually creates 40 pounds of lift at top speed. You're thinking, well, that is pretty cool. Well, let's go one step further. That DBS creates that much downforce without any difference in drag compared that to the DB11. That's pretty damn cool. Stepping inside is pure Aston Martin. You've got leather everywhere, high quality leather. Uh, everything that looks metal is metal, which is a nice touch. The gear levers here, the switch gear on the steering wheel, the door handles. Uh, I think my favorite feature though, is this one touch center armrest, uh, exposing the two cup holders. Hit it again and then it exposes the entire center armrest. How cool is that? Crack open the carbon clamshell, exposes the heart of the beast. 5.2 liter V12, 715 horsepower out of the twin turbos, uh, 664 foot-pounds of torque. Interestingly enough, this motor is no different than that in the DB11. There's no bigger turbos, there's no different exhaust setup. It's all done with tuning. 100 plus more horsepower just in tuning just goes to show how capable this motor is. The new DBS Superleggera will certainly leave an impression on anyone fortunate enough to encounter it and will without a doubt find itself right at home at the top of the Aston Martin range. Thank you so much to Aston Martin Calgary for giving us the opportunity to check out this amazing machine and thank you all very much for watching. Two out of two cup holders. <laughs> Apex approved. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>